On behalf of Orange, it is with great pleasure we extend this offer of employment. See below for compensation details. Base salary $100,000 plus $60,000 in RSUs. Yes, baby! I did it! I'm a mechanical engineer! I'm rich! The next day. Hey Victor, congrats on landing your first job. I just received an offer from Google for a software engineering role. That's amazing, man. How much did they offer you? Base salary is 175K with 80K in RSUs. Work from home half the week. 20 days pay time off per year. Free lunch Monday through Friday. What the? We're all engineers. How come his salary is almost double mine? No, that can't be right. Hey Siri, how much do software engineers make? Software engineers make bank. The national average base salary is $115,000. Entry level software engineers at Fang and big tech companies can easily make $200,000 a year plus RSUs typing on a keyboard in front of a computer. <laughs> no way. Are you sure your numbers are accurate? Yes. I am 100% positive. I was designed by Apple in California. Apple doesn't make mistakes. All right, I'll take your word for it. So how much do mechanical engineers make? Mechanical engineers make peanuts compared to software engineers. The national average base salary is $90,000, which is $25,000 less than what software engineers make. Why would you tell me that? Thanks for completely ruining my day. Cheer up. It's not always about the money. Do what makes you happy and stop comparing yourself with others. Mechanical engineers still make more than many other professions. Look at the bright side. If you are a mechanical or electrical engineer, the statistics show you have a higher chance of becoming part of the C-suite than software engineers. Before we continue, I just want to give a big thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Receiving your official job offer email is probably one of the greatest feelings ever. However, all the private information stored in your emails and on the cloud is at risk of getting stolen. There's so many people trying to gain access to them, whether it's data aggregators or people with much more malicious intent. Atlas VPN encrypts and secures your personal information before it even goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your private info, they're not going to have access to it. I actually know somebody who didn't use a VPN to hide their IP address and someone was able to track their location in real time. Really scary stuff. Also on the entertainment side, for example, if you're in the US, you won't be able to watch a lot of TV shows like Rick and Morty or The Big Bang Theory on Netflix, but you can actually utilize Atlas VPN to make sites like Netflix think you're in the UK or Australia, so you have access to all of your favorite TV shows and movies. You can now get a three-year subscription of Atlas VPN for just $1.83 a month plus an extra three months. Try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, Reason, get your money back. This is a limited time offer, so if you want to give it a try, check out my link in the description below. 2,000 years later. What the? I know I don't make as much as software engineers, but this is crazy. Hey Siri, I make $100,000 per year at a Fortune 500 company. How come I only have $1,000 in my bank account? It's really not that complicated. It's what's left after your expenses. What? Care to explain? Come on, you are a mechanical engineer. You are supposed to be a math whiz. Your salary is $100,000 per year, which turns out to $8,300 a month. You pay 30% in taxes, $3,000 a month renting a nice studio apartment in Silicon Valley. That means 66% of your salary is eaten up by rent and taxes. Wait, 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 hold on. Let's take a step back. The numbers still don't add up. I also got $60,000 in stocks. That's more than the salary of a lot of people. Where did that all go? Yes, but remember, the company gave you RSUs. That stands for Restricted Stock Units. 
The keyword here is restricted. You won't be entitled to the full amount until you have fulfilled four years of employment. Wait, what do you mean? So I don't get any stocks this month? I hate to break it to you. Based on your job offer, your stocks vest equally every three months. That means you will receive your first set of stocks in two months. Phew. You really scared me there for a second. That's awesome to hear. So how much is that? $60,000 distributed equally over 16 quarters. That's $3,750 every three months. Wait, that's it? That's less than the income tax I pay each month. That's correct. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but remember that RSUs count as taxable income when they vest, so you actually end up receiving less than the amount listed on paper. These big companies are smart cookies. They are essentially giving you peanuts in exchange for your loyal service. Boy, the world seems so simple before this moment. So what you're telling me is, I can't leave the company until four years has passed? No. You need to learn to listen. You can quit whenever you want, but when you do so, you will forfeit all of your unvested RSU shares. All right, all right. But that still doesn't explain why I can't even afford to buy a MacBook Pro. Who needs a MacBook Pro? All you need is me. All right, it would be greatly appreciated if you took my questions seriously and stopped being so facetious. Now, what about my 401k? You currently max out your 401k, contributing 7% of your salary, which is equivalent to $581 each month. Your employer matches 50%, so that turns out to $872 per month. However, this money cannot be used until you are 59 and a half years old. You can think of this as your retirement money. Wait, 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 wait. So let me get this straight. I'm locking away more than 10 grand per year until I turn 60? That's correct. Look. Nobody is forcing you to contribute to a 401k. It's just what Americans do because they can't save money to save their lives. But life is filled with so many uncertainties. Will I even live until I'm 60? Even if I do, how will I spend that money? Give it to my kids? Beats me. You are the boss here. Hey Siri, so what other expenses do I have? Well, right off the bat, you have a $800 car loan and $1,000 student loan to pay off each month. After rent, utilities, groceries, eating out, and all of the random stuff you buy, you're left with $1,000. No, 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 no. Something must be wrong with your math. I make $8,300 per month, but I'm only left with 1000 Well, you live in Silicon Valley, which is notorious for its inflated cost of living. What do you mean? It means your six-figure salary is underwhelming. Welcome to Silicon Valley. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say, getting your first job offer can be very exciting and is something to be proud of. When I got my first mechanical engineering job offer, I was so ecstatic that I couldn't fall asleep. In that very moment, you realize all of your hard work paid off and how much preparation it actually takes to get interviews, pass interviews, and ultimately land a job. For any of you who are in the process of prepping for a mechanical engineering interview, be sure to check out my list of top technical questions that I think are great to know and hopefully it will help you land your next job. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.